Okay, video number four on solving systems by elimination. So this is when elimination gets the most complicated. If you have not watched videos one through three yet and you are struggling with elimination, I strongly suggest doing that because this is the most complicated scenario where we want to use elimination, but neither of the variables have the same or opposite coefficients. But also when you look and you try to see what can I multiply one of the equations by to get the opposite coefficient of the other one, you'll notice that there is no number, no integer that I can multiply by to get from three to five or nine to four or vice versa, right? So what happens in this scenario is we're gonna have to look for, you're gonna pick a variable first and we're gonna have to look for what's the least common multiple of these variables. And then we're gonna multiply both equations by a number and it will not be the same number, okay? So let's pick a variable first. Let that be your first thing. It doesn't matter which one. I'm gonna go with X, all right? So we want X to have opposite coefficients or the same coefficient and then you subtract, doesn't matter. So one is a five and one is a three. What is the least common multiple of five and three? When I ask you questions, please pause the video and try so that you're giving yourself some thinking time. So the least common multiple of five and three is 15. So instead of trying to turn these both into a five or both into a three, we're gonna turn them both into a 15, okay? But we're gonna do that by multiplying both equations by something. So what do I multiply five by to get to 15? Three, so we're gonna multiply this entire equation by three. What do I multiply three by to get to 15? Five, so we're gonna multiply this entire equation by five. Now, it's a coincidence that the least common multiple of these two numbers happens to be their product. So you might be thinking, can I always just do this? You can, you can always just multiply by the opposite number. It won't necessarily be the least common multiple, but it will be a common multiple. So if maybe you struggle with least common multiple, one shortcut I can give you is just multiply by the opposite number. So for example, if you wanted the y's to have the same coefficient, you can multiply the top equation by nine and the bottom equation by four, okay? So now let's do this. Let's get our new equations in blue over here. If I multiply the entire top equation by three, I'm gonna have 15x, 12y, and negative 90, okay? The bottom equation I'm gonna multiply by five. So I'm gonna have 15x, minus 45y equals negative 90. All right, and now I've achieved having, well, I have the same coefficients. Remember, you can either have the same or you can have the opposite. So because I have the same coefficients, I'm gonna subtract my equations. Um, if you really like adding the equations instead and you wanted the opposite, what you would have done here is multiply one of these by, either multiply the top by a negative three or the bottom by a negative five. Then you'll have a 15 and a negative 15. I ended up with the same exact coefficient, so now I'm gonna subtract these two equations. So 15x minus 15x cancels out. 12 minus negative 45y. That means I'm actually adding, right? If I write that inside for you, 12 minus negative 45, that means that I'm actually adding these together. So it's gonna be 57y equals negative 90 minus negative 90. Don't forget to go back to that subtraction sign. So I'll write that over here for you too. Negative 90 minus negative 90. Again, KCC, that means I'm actually adding negative 90 plus 90 is zero. So now I have a one-step equation. I'm gonna divide by 57 on both sides and I have zero divided by 57. So my Y coordinate for this solution of this system is zero. So my Y is zero and now just like every other method, every other problem we've done, substitution or elimination, once you have one of the variables, your next step is always to just pick an equation and go back into it, substitute this in and get your other variable. So I will pick the bottom one just so that I have to erase less. And we're gonna go ahead and substitute that zero in to the original equation, okay? So instead of writing Y now, I'm gonna write zero here. Everything else is gonna come down as is. So three X minus nine times zero is negative 18. Three X equals negative 18 because negative nine times zero is zero. And then I'm gonna divide by three on both sides. Three divided by three is one, so it cancels out and I get X equals negative 18 divided by three is negative six. So there's my X value, there's my Y value, which means that if this system was graphed, the two lines would intersect at the point negative six, zero.
do a practice problem, the answer will be in the description of the video. If you did not get the correct answer and you're struggling to find your mistake, please reach out. I will try to help you find your mistake.